Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now there's going to be a few changes to the intros of the videos over the next few weeks as we're trying something new. I want to get you into the meat of the video a little bit quicker. So without further ado, let's go and see what we're up to. Oh, the sun's come out. As you can see, we've got the trusty old comedy drill back out because we are trying to reseed some grass. Now this one is a permanent pasture field that we are putting back down to grass. It went into a bit of a failure of an arable silage crop less said about that the better but we've come back in here dad has disked it and then rolled it down and now i've been charged with putting it back in to some grass now the reason why we've disked this and rolled it down as opposed to just direct drilled it is because our claydon isn't really capable of drilling grass seeds it leaves it slightly too rough for being able to mow and stuff in the future um and we don't have any other way of really being able to direct drill so some grass seeds so that's why we've dissed it and we use the old combi drill and that was really the reason why we kept this combi drill um, at the time it's come down really well actually and i'm really pleased with how it's going in now we are planting this with some of the seed from hurrells great company work with them quite a lot it's the hm17 intensive mix which has late diploids and tetraploids in it that just means that it doesn't go to seed very quickly it's a little bit slower growing but it will stay green and lush and high quality for longer. Now, the reason why we picked this mixture is because it is kind of a dual purpose mixture. It's mainly for grazing, but we can mow it and make some really good quality silage. There is some clover in here as well. So I think it should do as a real good turn. Later on in the video, I am actually going to be showing you some arable ground that we're putting down to grass because we want to improve the soil because it's just awful soil. But I wanted to show you this field because this has been down to grass for quite a long time all my life and probably all the dad's life and i don't even know a very long time it just shows you what grass can do for your ground if you look at this ground here look you can see the tufts of grass that's all old grass that has been broken up you see how fibrous that is i don't know if you can tell look at all the little root structure that's in there that'll break up all of your soils and improve your soils for you and if you just take a handful of this you can just see it's so so much root structure and it's just so friable and it's still heavy ground down here it's still very clay because the brook runs at the bottom of this field but it just shows the improvements that grass can make over a long term to your soil structures now the reason why we want to put grass in that arable field is because that arable field has become so depleted and so difficult to work with and it's just hard and it's like concrete you just can't do much with it at all if we can get some grass in there get some of those fibrous roots breaking up that soil breaking the structures up it'll help increase the water infiltration it'll help increase the carrying capacity of that land it'll help improve the fertility the microbial activity in the soil it just generally makes the soil so much healthier i mean you wouldn't believe it but this actually has had about an inch of rain over the last 36 hours and i can drive on it and i'm not even got dirty wheels it's like incredible but that other ground there is no way you'd be driving on that right now even if it had 10 mil of rain because the water just goes nowhere it sits on the top the soil is poor we just need to improve it. And there we have it this one is done which is amazing i mean look at it it looks like a billiard table it's so smooth i can't believe how well it's gone in i genuinely didn't know what i expected um but it wasn't this this is 10 times better than i thought it would go in it's just absolutely beautiful look at that you don't see soil come down like that on this farm very often it's just stunning absolutely lovely so this one's done but now on for the challenge i suppose we've got the uh the arable field to do which that's not going to be so good obviously we need to roll this to make sure that there's good seed and soil contact so dad will come in here probably and flat roll it at some point not sure whether it will be today though because some of those clouds over there look a little bit ominous so we could be in for a bit of rain and i think it is forecast to get some heavy showers later on but at some point before this comes up we will get this rolled in and uh yeah that should make it 
ready for the winter, I suppose. Now, I don't know if you've seen, but in the UK at the minute, we've got a massive problem with vegan protesters and they're kind of blocking a lot of milk processing factories and they're stopping people buying milk and they're blocking meat processors and stuff like that. I kind of understand that they have a problem with eating meat and products from animals. And I think that it's, it's very narrow sighted because the soil here compared to the arable soil that we're gonna go and see in a minute is proof of why you need livestock. Without livestock, we can't regenerate our soils and get them in better condition. We just constantly are degrading them. No matter what we do, no matter what plants we put in, no matter how many cover crops we put in it or how diverse our rotation is, without the livestock putting in manure and treading on that soil, and eating those plants and putting back in all the other things that animals put back in, we're just gonna degrade it and we're gonna end up in a worse situation. A lot of arable farmers now are starting to see that in their land. They're starting to see that they've just got this land that is constantly getting harder and harder and harder to work, that needs more artificial inputs, which take more out of the soil and really degrade it further. So having livestock is integral and this just proves it. I mean, if we want more soil like this, we need to integrate livestock more into our arable systems and into our crop growing systems and into our plant growing systems. Without them, I mean, we're, we're nothing. So yeah, if you wanna be vegan, be vegan, but we're gonna lose this if we're not careful. Now, I did see a peer reviewed scientific report that said if we all went vegan, all of us across the whole world, we'd need three planets to sustain us. And when you consider that 65% of our land isn't capable of growing crops, we'd actually need about 10 planets to sustain us. So realistically, it isn't feasible for us all to do it. Um, if you want to do it, feel free. I'm not, I don't eat meat every day. Well, I do. I suppose I do. But I don't, I don't eat meat every meal. I go a lot of meals. I've got some great meals that are vegetarian, but I don't go on about it. Here's one for you as well. I think it's 96% of vegan meals aren't actually eaten by vegans. So that's quite impressive. And now we are in the arable field that we are putting down to grass. You can see we spread a little bit of muck on here. Uh, this is put on a week or two ago. It's quite dry. That'll add a bit of organic matter, add some nutrients to the soil. So that's going to help out with this soil, get the worm activity going. And you can see here, if I just pick up a bit of soil, this has had about two days of rain on it. So when I left that last field, um, it chucked it down with rain and I haven't got back to it for a couple of days. So it's had an extra two days of rain and you can see that on these bigger lumps, it has penetrated a little bit more, but it is pretty dry still. But if you look in here, there's not a lot going on. It's pretty barren in there. It's pretty hard. It's not great. So that's what we want this grass to do. Get some root structure in here and really start and work on this soil and get it going a bit better. We've actually ran the discs over this twice and rolled it between each disking with just the Cambridge rolls with the ring roller. And it has made a bit of a difference, just helped break it up. And again, like that moisture's made a big difference. So hopefully this will grass down really well and it will go in nicely, about as well as it ever really gonna go in, I should imagine, because it can be pretty horrible when it's dry. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll crack on and do a bit. Also should just point out, we've got a different grass seed mixture in here because we've gone for the Hurl Seeds HM14 hybrid power and clover so it's going to have some clover in it it's going to have a lot of grasses in here now the reason why we've gone to this from the mixture we used in the other field is because that was supposed to be a more permanent pasture grazing mixture that is can be cut but mainly for grazing this one is kind of the opposite this is more of a cutting mixture more intermediate tetraploids and diploids in here and the idea is that we can cut this more often and then add it into the grazing rotation later on. So it's mainly for cutting, a little bit for grazing. That's why we've changed the mixture and I'm really hopeful that that will help this field a lot. Also, I think it gives us a lot of options because we can graze it, we can mow it, we can do whatever we want with any of the grass that we've got. Because it's easy to make good decisions when there's no bad options. Because a man with options is a man with power, remember that. Thought we'd just jump out and have a look at it. I actually can't believe how well this is coming. Look at this, it's like flour. It is heavy, honestly. I feel like a fraud. If you look at that, you'd think I'd lied to you about how heavy this field actually is. Honestly, you can't plow it. If you plow it, you, you would never get it back again. This here is probably the heaviest part of this field. Honestly, it is heavy, but that's about the biggest lump we're gonna get. And that bit of moisture, just... Honestly, I've never seen it come down like this. 
honestly think it's just perfect amount of moisture. Conditions are bang on. Like the top's just dried nicely. It, it wasn't me. This is this is a fluke. God, it looks unbelievable. It's like we're farming in the fens. Crazy. And there we have it. She's in. She's done. All the grass seeds are in for this year, which is great news. There's one job ticked off the list. Still can't believe how well it's come. I know I keep saying it, but it is actually heavy. It looks incredible. Just got to get this rolled now. And yeah, hopefully this time next year, there's going to be a carpet of green and full of cows. Right, let's take this girl back to the shed. Park her up for the night. Happy days. And that is it for another video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Now I've got to set to and get this drill cleaned out and put away ready for the winter. If you've enjoyed the video, please click on my face down below to subscribe to the channel. There's probably another couple of videos floating around for you to click on if you haven't watched them also. Whatever you're up to this weekend, have a great one. I'll see you all soon. Bye.